Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where the sun is shining and today I'm here in Weymouth for my first visit in many years. Used to come here a lot as a kid, my parents used to bring me here on holiday and had some amazing times coming down here to Weymouth. Uh, but yeah, I've not been for so long and in this video I'm going to be checking out the Sea Life Centre. Uh, now from what I remember, this is actually very different to your other Sea Life Centres that you find around, not just here in the UK uh, but all around the world. With this one, it's actually not just one main building you kind of head in and out of a variety of different buildings when I was last here they used to have some rides and as I'm sure many of you know then rides actually got relocated to other Merlin attractions uh, but yeah I'm looking forward to it along with that tomorrow's video here on the channel will be me checking out some of the other attractions here in Weymouth because as much as they don't have any coasters here they have got a nice selection of rides including a snails ride over on the beach as well so yeah I'm going to be checking out all of that in tomorrow's video. And here it is, the entrance to Sea Life Weymouth, of course owned by Merlin Entertainments that operate a variety of different Sea Life centres all around the world. And yeah, I've booked using my annual pass of course to come and visit here. That's the good thing if you have got a Merlin annual pass. So many different attractions that you can visit and yeah, it's a lovely day for it as well. But yeah, last time I was here, I think it was called Weymouth Sea Life Park actually. Oh, I tell you what, this brings back so many memories coming here. Yeah, it's a lovely location. All the trees around, lots of green space. And yeah, all these different buildings are home to the various different exhibits here at Sea Life Weymouth. But yeah, I remember last time I was here, coming on the Rocking Tug, that of course has now just opened at Chessington actually. It went to Thorpe Park, and then yeah, it's now at Chessington. Uh, but here we go, here's a map. And yeah, as you can see, it is literally like a park, what you walk around and head into the different buildings. But yeah, lots to see here. But I thought I want to film a vlog coming down here, checking it out, because it's been a long time. I'd say it's been at least maybe 12, 15 years since I was here. And yeah, as you probably heard from the music at the entrance, Peppa's here as well. <laughs> you got the mini golf next door. And yeah, there's lots of attractions all nearby. So yeah, I'm gonna be covering a lot of those in tomorrow's video here on the channel. And just having a bit of a tour around, making the most of this last bit of summer, really here in the UK. I can't remember exactly where the rides were. I mean, maybe they were on this piece of grass. I'm not too sure. Yeah, there used to be a little flume ride here as well. There was a little pirate ship here back in the day as well. So I thought we'd come and start over here in Castaway Bay. And yeah, it's quite a huge site actually with some really nice landscaping around as well. And as you can see, you've got the water play area just in the middle. And yeah, we'll go in here first, shall we? Go and see the rays. Number one, harbour side, just over here. But yeah, all the little buildings. Just very different, isn't it, when you're used to seeing other sea life centres. fish really relaxing to watch and yeah especially with the nice music they put in the background as well and yeah here's a look at the inside of the building yeah so it's kind of how it works all these little sections like this all these different buildings you can see now why it used to be called Weymouth Sea Life Park last time I was here because it is more of a park instead of just a building Oh, this cool submarine over here as well. I don't remember seeing that last time, saying that it has been a long time since I was last here in Weymouth. Yeah, it's a lovely place. It's great down here in Dorset. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my vlog from yesterday at the Great Dorset Steam Fair. I was there until really late last night and had an amazing time. Yeah, it was great fun. Let's go and enter into the tropical lagoon. Got some facts about sharks. I do wish these buildings had a little bit more theming and decor on though. I think that would really make it. The great thing about the Sea Life Centres is how they have a lot of low level glass panels as well. So if you are coming with kids, they haven't really got a stand on anything to look in. They can just come straight up to the glass here, which is really good. You know, I mentioned that because I remember when I was a kid, it wasn't 
quite the same as that, you know, you'd always have to be lifted up or go up some ramps or steps, whereas now you can go and stand right up against there, which is great. Might have seen the sharks there then and yeah as you can see you've got this big grassy area which is perfect for having a picnic so yeah i definitely recommend bring your picnic along if you come in here and you can really make a day of it and you can come in and out as well with your ticket which is good obviously i've got an annual pass anyway but uh even if you're just paying for a day ticket you don't have to stay in all day you just dip out and then come back later on uh, which is really good but you've got the uh, water play areas just around here and we're going to head into the uh, rainforest area which is just over here now Oh, I do like the feeling in here. All the branches and leaves and the fiber optics up there as well. And again, lots of low level exhibits. To see, you're right in there. Oh, I can see a person at the other side. <laughs> yeah, Merlin do a really good job with the sea life centers. And of course, it's all about conservation as well, which is fantastic. That's the thing though, when you've got a Merlin annual pass, there's so many attractions to go and visit, which is really good. Yes, they're expensive, the passes, but when you think about what you get and all the attractions, it is great value. Oh, this is really nice. Probably my favorite rainforest section, actually. Obviously, I'd imagine everything's been updated since last time I was here. <laughs> Look at these over here. <laughs> it's popping their heads out of the water. Four-eyed fish. And yeah, it's a good thing you've got all the different information points around. The piranhas just in here. Oh, that's pretty with the colours. Oh wow, look at this fish here. What an amazing colour. That is incredible. Oh wow. A gorgeous orange. Just there. Oh, is that some sort of lighting? Just here. Oh no. Oh, you're right there. <laughs> I thought it was because of the lighting then, but no, no, that is actually his colour. Wow. I've not seen one like that before. Beautiful little ray down here as well. Back outside then now on this glorious summer's day. And yeah, just off to the right there, I don't know if you can make it out. You got a shipwreck, which is cool. Doesn't even look like Femi. It's like it's always been there. Maybe it has, I don't know the history of it. If anybody does, comment down below. Yeah, you can just see it down there. And we have got this little river running through here, so I'm not too sure. Yeah, we'll go and head down this way now and into the nursery. massive starfish at the back there as well. And obviously if you come into a sea life centre or any aquarium you're allowed to take photos and videos however to make sure there's no flash photos. I like all the rocks just here. Like the UV paint on, it's quite a cool effect. I really like this setup of going into the different buildings though, it really works. Obviously, it wouldn't work so much in a location like London, Birmingham or Manchester. When you're at the seaside like this, I think it's nice. Having the outdoor areas. Scarborough's also got a few outdoor areas, but it's mainly still one building. There's the seahorses, just in there. For the cleaner shrimps just here as well, look at the size of them. Now of course many people come into a sea life centre want to actually touch the fish and yeah you can actually come here to the rock pool explorer area and do just that it's a really nice setup 
Yeah, very well themed as well. And you've got the other fish down there on your left. They have got quite sharp teeth, so they don't like Shane, just put your hand in and touch them. Obviously, the ones that they tell you you're allowed to. I thought she had a traffic cone then, but yeah, she's looking down into the water. Got the little stepping stones here as well. That you can go over. Yeah, this is really cool. Great on a nice hot day like today as well. Nice and refreshing. Right then, let's continue on into shipwreck just over here. And yeah, there's lots of fun facts around as well, such as this one. There's more than three million shipwrecks on the ocean floor. What beer is he in here? Beautiful colours. I like these flickering candles over at the side, they're quite cool. Jellyfish just over here. Jellyfish life cycle. enjoying my visit so far here to Sea Life Weymouth and yeah I've always kind of said that once you've been to one Sea Life Centre you've kind of seen them all but that isn't the case with this one yes it still features a lot of the same exhibits however how it's actually laid out here I prefer it I think it's nice instead of being in one big building and not really seeing the outside coming in somewhere like this is great and especially on a nice warm day as well because you can really make a full day out of it especially with all the grass areas uh, quite a few food options the play areas such as the water play area they've actually got a pirate themed mini golf as well uh, that is a separate ticket though uh, but that is joined on next door um, so yeah there's a lot to do around here and as you'll see in tomorrow's vlog Weymouth has got a lot of attractions and other amusements to see as well uh, that I'm going to be covering in tomorrow's video now in terms of getting around here you might be thinking that, yes there's a map but it looks quite complicated to make sure you're seeing everything and not missing things well the good thing is everything's numbered and obviously so far I've been following the numbers so we're about to see uh, number seven now which is the penguin exhibit <laughs> i like this sign just here come see us with two cute little penguins on there yeah, as you can see got some signage round and also lots of little windows looking in as well pepper's saying let's look this way oink <laughs> can't we see them oh there they are that was easier than i was expecting yeah nice big area for them oh it looks like we can go around the top there Oh, here they are, the lovely penguins enjoying the sunshine. You can get really close to them here as well, which is great. Oh, I love seeing the penguins just there. They look really happy in their lovely outdoor space. And as you can see here, you've got the fun talks and feeds happening throughout the day as well. It gives you all the times for those. Like I said, if you wanted to, you can nip out and come back in as well, because there is other attractions to see nearby. And yeah, also, you can meet Peppa Pig here as well at four times throughout the day. Got the nice little lighthouse there in the middle and yeah it's all really well looked after here as well beautiful location and yeah up next we'll have to see this fella <laughs> what a great photo of and entrance into the turtle sanctuary which is number eight and number nine the ocean tunnel a lot of this looks like it's been redone as well in here 
I mean, I can't remember any of it, but just looking at all the wood and yeah, it looks like it's all pretty new. Terrapins just down here. There he is. It's a nice underwater lighting effects just here. Night and day. Glow in the dark shark. Here we go, welcome to the main event. Oh, I like the projections in here. Wow, look at him up there. And here we go then, round to what is always the main event of any sea life centre, the ocean tunnel. And we've got a couple of huge turtles in here. There's one of them. You've got the rays, you got the sharks. Wow. <laughs> Looking down on his crush. <laughs> really impressive seeing the wonderful turtles and yeah it's a great space in there it really is the tunnel itself isn't huge however of course you can spend as long as you want in there and you can come back to that section as much as you want to but yeah there's lots of other little viewing windows as well that all look into that main ocean tank and you've got the wetlands area just over here beautiful park this is and yeah say park because on some of the signs it still says weymouth sea life adventure park just there yeah like i said back at the start of the vlog i remember that old name and obviously these have some rides here as well it's a shame they took the rides out however it isn't a theme park you know so i can understand why they did decide to relocate them and obviously they fit in nicely now in their new homes oh that was a big step blimey i wasn't expecting that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got play area just over there as well. That's the thing with them having more room here. They can do stuff like that. Some sort of presentation going on over here. What we got? Sea lions? Is it over there? I guess. We'll find out in just a moment. Yeah, play area is good. Just over there, huge play area. And we've got down here. Um, so the other reason I said there were a number why they the restaurants over there as well at the back, but yeah, that's great. Not yesterday, day before, the girls aren't used we'll to continue that. on down that way shortly, but yeah, we'll have a little look what's going on here. Come on, you rock stills, come on. That kind of guidance in their lives. And Cedar is probably the most energetic when she wants to be, but she is also a bit of a diva, so she doesn't always want to join in, and when Cedar doesn't want to join in, she will not. That's it. Um, you've got no chance, bless her. So today, though, she looks reasonably keen. We also have Webby here on her rock. So Webby is 21. And you rock Webb? He's away. All right, Webb. He was away. So Webby is 21. She was born at Colchester Zoo. So that is why her and Cedar are not in the sea. They are too humanized. They're too used to people. So that is why they have stayed with people. So Webby is probably the most anxious. Um, but when she does want to join in with training, she's also the most rewarding for it because she is so nervous. Lovely area for the seals and yeah great to see them there and of course doing a talk as well. As you can see then they've got the behind the scenes tour that's actually new for 2022. Upcharge experience but yeah that may be something that you're interested in if you are coming down here. Hey and you can see them underwater just here as well and the little underwater observatory which is just around the corner from where they're doing the talk there. Well, we are coming to the end of my experience here at Sea Life Weymouth. And yeah, just thought we'd come back over to the map and just show you where I am now. So yeah, we've just been to Seal Harbour. And up next, we've got Fairy Penguin Island, which is just over here. And then of course, number 13, 
the final thing to see, which are the otters there as well. But yeah, then I'll have a little stroll back through. I'm going to check out the gift shop down here as well and show you what merchandise there is. And like I say, there is going to be another video coming up from Weymouth here on the channel tomorrow, showing you some of the other attractions. Oh, these look really cute, don't they? And yeah, it shows you where you can find these. In Australia, New Zealand just there as well, and some of the other islands in that part of the world. Let's go and head down this way, through the door. We, are, we just open it up ourselves, do we? Here we go. <laughs> Normally they have the doors open in these places. There we go. Ooh, just got to sanitise my feet as we go in. Oh, look at these little cuties. Oh, these are nice. <laughs> They're tiny. Fairy penguins only like to eat fish, so obviously it's really important that you don't put any of this in the tanks or, of course, out there in the oceans as well. It's nice that they can decide if they want to be inside or outside. As you can see, they've got this huge area just over here. Oh, he's waving in there. Hello. <laughs> They're really cute, those. Yeah, just round here towards the otters now, number 13. And the final thing to see here, yeah, I've been here about an hour or so strolling around. Obviously, I've only just had quite a brisk kind of walk through, showing you what there is and all the different areas. But yeah, you can spend as long or as little as you want to in each of the different areas. Yeah, it's really nice here, the landscaping. You could definitely spend a full day here if you wanted to, or at least half a day taking it all in, especially if you've got kids and just want to take it a bit more chilled out. This looks really well themed around here. Let's go and see the otters. Wow, look at this amazing theming here. This is fantastic. And yeah, it looks brand new, this does. So yeah, I reckon they've just put this in. Can't see any otters, but we've got Bert the Seagull just down there. Yeah, I love the oriental theming that there is here. A little viewing area at the top, and yeah, I think they do a talk over here as well. Nice big glass panels. Yeah, it's great to see. This is lovely, really relaxing, like a zen garden. The little bridge there, the music. Great decor. Can't see the otters though. Must be hiding. Really has got a bit of a theme park vibe about this place. As much as it is still a sea life centre, you can definitely tell that they used to have the rides here, of course. Especially with a lot of the buildings and the setup of it. Here you've got the Caribbean Cove play area just over here as well if you are coming down here which is perfect it's on a lovely day like this just gonna head down now to the gift shop of course at the exit and yeah have a look at some of the merchandise that's available if you're coming down here to sea life in Weymouth well I've also just been doing a bit of research looking at old maps and yeah the rides weren't on this grass area they were actually down the back where the penguins were that I saw just and also where that huge play area is. Yeah, that used to have four flat rides in there and the little Crocodile Creek flume ride that of course is now at Chessington. That actually used to be right down where them penguins are now. So there you go, just to give you a bit of an idea. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've been here, you know, so I couldn't really remember. Let's go have a little stroll through the gift shop. Of course, you've got lots of different plushies, key rings, magnets, beach towels, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, here's a look at some of your Sea Life branded merch. Quite a few years ago now, at the Merlin attractions such as the Sea Life centres and the dungeons, they stopped doing branded merch to each individual attraction, which is a shame because I know people that used to collect them from each one. Like this would actually say Sea Life Weymouth on. The dungeons, for example, would say London Dungeon and Edinburgh Dungeon. But now it's just a generic kind of um, Sea Life and Dungeon logos on them. Yes, it's a shame about that, because obviously if you go to the likes of Alton Towers and Thorpe Park, obviously, then yeah, you're going to get that merchandise that says that on. But yeah, they've got some pepper merch here as well. Loads of plushies. Not too badly priced. Obviously, you get your annual pass discount as well, if you are a Merlin annual pass holder. Yeah, they've got quite a bit of stuff available in here. I like the penguin plush. 
And there we have it. That brings us to the end of this vlog here from Sea Life Weymouth. And yeah, it's been many years since I last came here. And you know what? There's been so many changes, but I also remember that layout with all the buildings and the grass areas. It's fantastic. It's by far my favorite Sea Life Center in the country and probably that I've ever been to actually. Of course, not my favorite aquarium, but favorite of Merlin Sea Life Centers. And yeah, what they've done here, I think it's great. Yeah, I do like all the changes, uh, the new bits of theming and lighting, the audio's great. It is a shame they took the ride out however I can kind of understand why they did that um, because it doesn't really fit with you know the rest of it does it you know it just doesn't really make sense is it a sea life center is it a theme park I suppose they couldn't really decide what they wanted to be so now it's clear it's an aquarium uh, with some lovely outdoor areas and you've still got lots of other attractions in the area right next door actually that I'm going to be covering in tomorrow's vlog I'm going to be starting off here and then driving around a few of the locations in Weymouth showing you what else there is to do but uh, yeah it's a great sea life center like I say you could spend the long time here because it's got the outdoor areas especially on a lovely day like this it's ideal to be honest um, because you can just chill out on the grass you've got the play areas quite a bit of food available as well and uh, yeah you can just keep nipping in and out all day if you do want to as well but uh, thank you very much for joining me here on theme park worldwide I've done vlogs now from quite a lot of the other sea live centers so make sure you check them out here on the channel if you haven't already seen them i'm sean sandbrook thanks for watching and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding See you in tomorrow's vlog.